here's hoping I don't just die, but I am going to try and find that sniper. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so what you guys didn't see was that Nick uh, just pulled down a barricade and walked through a door, and nobody really cared. No, no one cared. <laughs> Surprising. I guess it was blocking their passage as well. Oh, that's... You know, I guess that does sort of make sense, right? Because it was in the middle of the building. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like, a little silly. It's clearly causing them problems, too. Can we not too. get to the roof? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I... Wow! Whoa. All right. Let's... Just drop those there. Yeah, do you think he's on the roof? I, I, will, I actually would be Possible. pretty disappointed if uh, we can't kill the sniper. Well... See, here's the thing. I mean, we don't see him on the roof. No. Wait, what's on the very left? That's not an outside... Oh, no, that's just the hotel thing. It's I thought it might have been a ladder. No, that's that's a hidey hole. So if I go down here, I rob this pile. Scavenge, you don't have to rob it. Babe. Well, yes, if I scavenge that pile. Um, I could... Oh, wait, no, 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 shit, I should go over here. What if... Oh, no, what if the sniper's only there... When the radio says that the sniper's active. No. The sniper no. might not be active Wait, tonight. Go down here. Maybe. That would really suck. I know, right? Because I, I want to kill that guy. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to start. Hang on. I, I came here to get a gun, right? Like, I, I wanted a gun Could when I came here. people? It might be. Why do we always have to kill people? I'm not saying I'm not Why? killing people. Can we not kill the traitor, please? But... I don't want that wood. I don't want any of that shit. But he might have a gun. Okay. If you kill a traitor, do but you get... Have a gun. Can you steal all of their wares? No, 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 uh, no, I was gonna say, I don't no. think so. That could That's help. almost a little disappointing. I mean, in order to balance that, you'd have to have some pretty severe consequences, yeah. but... I need the weapon park. Can we stack that? Oh, we can stack that. Can we stack that too? Oh, that's so sick. Actually, mm, delicious. Stack all of I guess to balance that, then just stack no traitors would deal with you at all. Yeah. Um, Ever. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that'd be pretty penalizing. That would be, yeah. What if we go out there? There might be a sniper Ooh. out there. Oh, we can stack all this again. Oh, that's awesome. so nice. All right. I'm going to go out here and see what happens. Yeah, that's just the exit to the level. Okay. Now that I know that's the exit to the level, though, I can go down here in their basement area, and I can take things from them. Although this is open for, you know taking like anyone could take this it's just out in the open <laughs> just a big old pile of stuff no one cares all right nothing we, nothing we can stack nothing i want do i okay. just like hang on i want to see Wait, do we want to try and trade now uh that's actually not a bad idea we've only got a couple maybe hours. i could get a couple more bullets and then when i try to kill them it'll be less awkward because no. <laughs> it won't be like bang 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 all right i'm out guys <laughs> that would actually be a really fun strategy. I doubt it's going to actually work. Okay, but... actually, here's an interesting design point. I can't trade anything to them that I've picked up here, except for the stuff which is really, really valuable. Oh, I, but that's they don't want smart. They don't want anything that I could have just picked up in the building. Right, because they're um, like, we already knew. Okay, so there, there appears to be three people in here. Are there any explosives in this game? Uh, not to the best of my knowledge, but that doesn't mean no. I feel like... It would be game breaking, but like it would make I can't sense. Sit forever. I need to sit down for a while. I feel like at this down. point in the night, like I can't. You gotta just... get out of here, dude. You've got forty minutes. Yeah. Unless you're gonna try and kill somebody, which I don't think is a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea no. either. No, no way in hell. Just... Unless it's oh. that guy. Oh, maybe. Could you just kill him and flee? Yeah, I could do that. You got, dude. You gotta run now. All right. It's four forty. You're gonna. Mm. What happens? Wait. If you were to kill him right as the uh, the clock shit. runs out... Shit. shit, 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 shit. Shit, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, honky. Beat, beat him to death, beat him to death. No, the dawn has caught me. Oh, no. Oh, no. But you don't die, right? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You're gonna come so back severely could... wounded. Yeah, I might. I might. Outbreak of crime. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so this is like one of those events, kind of like winter, where you basically just get raided every, every night. night. Oh, we didn't no. get raided tonight, which I don't know how that didn't happen. Still good for us. Magic. All right, filter. Filter. We don't have a filter. Don't we gotta make filter. one. Nope, wrong one. Yeah. That's the one. Rah. So, do you think that it would be an optimal strategy though to try to like kill a guy right before the clock hits that <sighs> end point? Uh, I just run around know. until it runs out after I, you kill the guy? I've had it happen before, but I, I wouldn't say it was intentional, and uh, I, I honestly don't know. So there's no way we're going to get through a full playthrough of this in our time. Uh, the, the game takes between 34 and 45 days. 
Mm -hmm. um, at least this basic one does. Uh, the more advanced ones take sometimes less time, sometimes more time. It depends Depending on, on how intense yeah, exactly. it is. Yeah, um, we're, we're already on episode eight. Precisely. And, uh, and that's about all we're going to do for this recording 11. session. And we're at day 11. We haven't even gone two weeks yet. No, we're not even two weeks in. Um, so I, I, I do just want to talk about some, some basic design uh, philosophy stuff of the game. Um, things that we aren't necessarily going to get to. So we could talk a little bit about winter, um, which is good. Uh, winter is uh, you have to build a stove, which keeps the temperature uh, of the apartment, which is up here, temperature mm -hmm. gauge, uh, keeps the temperature of the apartment up above a certain uh, range. If you let it dip too low, uh, people start to get sick. If you raise it up too high, nothing happens. It's just weird and it takes longer to go down. Um, <laughs> you do get kind of a law of diminishing returns on your fuel though. Uh, if you add in a bunch of fuel, it adds fewer degrees game than glitch? it would. Oh, okay. Uh, game glitch, what do you mean? Oh, Marco came back. Yeah, Marco came back. Oh. Oh, good. Good, Marco came back. There he is. There he is. I made it without a single scratch. Wow. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. See? That I was... Told you he'd be fine. <laughs> no, you... no, you did not. He'd, he'd be fine. We Although he know. did come back without the... Right, because I shot somebody with all the bullets. Uh, those bullets are in somebody right now, <laughs> which is why I didn't get them back. Okay. Um, Christ. I will take this stuff. I will take this I think we take, we stuff. We need to walk... I will take. I don't take the tea water. You can't stack that for stuff. shit. It doesn't matter. This is. I'm. I'm in my house. What else do I take? That. Uh, Try and get that. See what happens. I'd rather have the tobacco. There's almost nothing he's gonna trade us because I think fucking Bruno smoked all of our cigarettes. I'd rather get rid of. The, instead oh of no, the, we the have. Can't. Instead of the cans, I'd rather have the regular food. Why? Because then we could. I mean. We don't have any vegetables. Oh, we have two. Yes, we have. We have we two. Oh, uh, but we do have six food on the stove. Oh. Well, then I'd rather have the cans. So, all right. That's fine. Okay. So you were also telling me about a, um, a strategy that Rachel came up with of involving the long mild winters yes uh where we where we talked about doing a long mild winter at the beginning of the game and then melting down a shitload of water yeah. but we discovered a problem when we tried to do this so what happens is um right right now uh what happens is right here you'll get like a little snow bank and mm -hmm. it'll have a little snowflake icon on it and you'll have to have someone go out and shovel snow which you can then turn into water mm -hmm. so what we thought is all the snow you just have them shovel all the snow and then whenever are you need water you just melt it down uh we are not I'm, I'm just gonna let the game run i'm not gonna i'm not gonna actually play it anymore you, you are welcome to if yep, you want thank you. um it's gonna so what what we tried to do is we tried to just stockpile snow and then melt it down whenever we needed it because we assumed we were finding some place to store it. But the problem is once the game stops being winter, you can't use snow anymore, but it's still in your inventory. Oh. So we had like 65 snow just sitting around. <laughs> can't do anything with it. Does it does it actually take up space? It well, it takes up space in the same sense that anything else does in your home oh, base. Oh, but you have an unlimited amount Precisely. of space, so it's just annoying to see it sitting there without any use for it. You can't even trade it away. So uh, that's, we tried doing silly. it, but our specific methodology was was a bit flawed. Um, there are a couple of other different philosophies we tried to have while uh, while playing. Um, when we were setting up, uh, next time we do this, if we if we do it again, uh, we'll we'll set it up so that we've got our own conditions at the start. Because mm -hmm. there are a few characters that I want to go over um, that are really, really important. So uh, there seems to be two or three different functions for characters. Either they have an ability that nobody else has, such as in the case of like Roman or Erica, who can one-shot kill people. Um, maybe they've got a few extra inventory slots. Uh, Marco's got 15 to uh, uh, Pavel's uh, 12 to Bruno's 10 to uh, Anton and Sveta's 8. Uh, they're useless. They're just useless for everything. Everything you try to have them do. Uh, but there are some characters that are just absurdly useful. Uh, like Marin, for instance, is a uh, handyman, and he just creates... He, like he, He's your builder. He builds everything for oh, you. Okay. And everything that he builds costs fewer resources. So if you've got uh, a starting party that consists of Marin, Bruno, Marco, and Katya, what you can do is you have... Less resources when trading, less resources when building, less resources when cooking, and you get more resources from stuff. So if you want to do an easy mode playthrough, those four characters, Marin, Marco, Katya, and Bruno, those are the ones that I recommend. Um, another possible early game playthrough that's pretty easy uh, also uses Marin. You really just kind of want Marin all the time because he's amazing. Um, you can also, instead of Marco, sub out for Bruno. Now, Bruno's thing is that Bruno is very slow, 
Bruno's hands are a better melee weapon than a knife. Um, he can just punch motherfuckers to death. It's ridiculous. He surprised a guy with an assault rifle one time, and I beat him to death with my fists in a hallway. Like it wasn't <laughs> like it wasn't like he couldn't run away. It was just Marco was just like ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha ah, ha ha, and you're dead now. And then I took his rifle, and then Marco walked off into the or and then Bruno walked out into the snow. It was it was not great. Uh, I found out later that the man wasn't a militia person. I just opened a door and happened to see a guy with a rifle. In reality, he was guarding a hospital. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. So there are a lot of different philosophies. There are a lot of different playthroughs. Early game tips. Uh, when you set up your game, set up the supermarket so that it's got the soldiers because then you can take the assault rifle from the guy and it gives you a, a good early game thing. There are a few characters uh, that you're allowed to simply customize and create your own versions of. That police woman character I was talking about is one of those. Mm -hmm. There are a few more characters who don't have any specific uses like IT professionals, psychologists, people like that. They're just not useful. Um, there's a character named Zlata, and if you're going to try a murder playthrough, you need her because she's the, the recovery person. Um, she also plays the guitar, which a few other <laughs> characters can play the guitar, but she plays it the best. Mm -hmm. So if you have a guitar, there will be a specific note in the uh, Our Home section that's like, Zlata plays the guitar, and we all like listening to it. <laughs> so like, you set all of your armchairs in the room that also has the guitar, and people will just go down there and listen to her play. And when she plays the guitar, it's like the radio, where it'll just take over the background music. Mm -hmm. And depending on her mood, she'll play one of three different songs. So uh, there's a lot of like little of human depth to the game that they don't ever really bother to teach you about. So I finally managed to upgrade Good. the workshop all the way up, and now I'm going to see if I can do it to the advanced workshop. Uh, let's see what I got. I just made the mixer that I need. Making I'm making those high things, quality cigarettes. That can be good. Let's see, I need. Oh, you need, need 18 so more many. components. You need six more wood. It's it's just not going to happen. So uh, the game as a whole takes between 20 and 100 days to complete. If you set up your own custom. And 100 days. That's the maximum you can set it to. Wow. It's just 100 days. You can also just set it to just go and just never stop. And, but and what hard. happens is that the war ends, right? Yes, the war ends, and uh, eventually you do get to pack up with your lives and continue on. If you've done well by your people, and they've ended the game without too many instances where they were sad and depressed and hungry and all of those things, then uh, you get their good ending. And their good ending is usually something like uh, Katya... Uh, documents the war from the inside, and then when she gets out, she wins a Pulitzer. It's like, she gets, like, a really good ending. But then, like, if you get, like, the kind of bad ending for her, then she just never really puts the pieces of her life back together, and she just kind of wanders around the broken city in a daze for the rest of her life. Um, th there's a couple of characters who are, like, looking for missing family members or who are hoping to reunite with someone after the war. If you get their good ending, they do reunite, and they put their past behind them, and then this just is, like, one in a list of things that makes them stronger as they go on through their life. But if you do badly by them, and they end the game in a very bad state, then chances are their life is basically just broken and horribly ruined forever. Well, that's lovely. Yeah, this game is a real, like, picker-upper. Like, if you're feeling bad, don't don't play this game. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it, and on that note, too, no. I think this game is actually really successful. Oh, I think yeah. the entire design philosophy of the game is Baby to pull on human emotions. Yes. Um, and it does very, very well. Oh, yeah. Um, Calling it a, a refugee simulator is actually still pretty accurate in that sense because it's a very emotional situation. Yes. And having the players yeah. become emotional while playing the game mm -hmm. is, that's, I would call that a success. Then. Yeah. So while I'm sitting here and I'm just like fucking around with the game and I'm like, oh yeah, let's go to the quiet house and steal from old people. Like I look excited and I sound excited, but man, the first time I did it, I was like, oh, what's in the quiet house? Like I'm really low on supplies. My people are going to die if I don't do this. I see those old people there. They're not moving. What are they going to do? And I just pushed yeah. open the door. And like, that's where it's those moments where, where, where you make these choices that have these terrible consequences that you didn't intend, but you can't just like shut the door and then not have them shout those terrible things at you. Like they, they happened and you heard them and you, you saw them. And, uh, we never did go back. <laughs> no, we didn't go back because you insisted that we not go back. Yeah. Cause it's fucking evil. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a little evil. I'll give you that. Regardless, though, I mean, we, we weren't very emotionally, like, present in the game no, because no. as game designers, it's easy to kind of, like, figure out how it works and tinker with it. It's easier to um, talk about... No, don't, don't make... Don't have fertilizer. Don't make a fertilizer <laughs> out of... Yeah, you do. You have three oh, have fertilizer. Three Just, Just uh, do you want to make... Do you want to use more water? I think you do. Do another one. Can't. Can, it's enough? 24. All right, yeah, just make 10 herbs. It's fine. Right. But regardless, though, yeah. I, I think that's good because now I think if, if any of you guys want to play the game... You can actually you go do. through it and experience it for yourself and really feel the emotions that the game wants you to feel and kind of 
get a better understanding of it that way. That way we didn't really spoil everything for you. Treat it a little seriously and the game will reward you. It it does give you these emotional payoffs that like Sack of shit, when, when Marco, you're not even tired anymore. When you've helped out your 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 neighbors and you've you've delivered them from danger and you've helped them board up their windows to protect against bandits and you've raided medical supply centers uh, that no one's ever going to know about just shh, don't talk. It's like it's it's the, the payoffs are really, really there. And when you finally do complete a playthrough and the war is over, it really does feel great. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of work. You really, really do have to focus and concentrate and pay attention to your time. Um, just don't mess around. The warehouse is one of my favorite locations because it's full of bandits and not even Katya cares if you kill your way through that place. Get yourself an assault rifle at the supermarket. Get yourself into the warehouse. There's six the, guys. Hang, I'm trying to give them help. There's six guys <laughs> in the warehouse. Three of them have assault rifles. They all have knives. Go there and just be ready to get into combat. Um, when you get into combat with the assault rifle, what you should do is you should have 20 bullets and you start firing and you don't stop firing until they fall down. That's how you do an assault rifle. Doesn't matter how many bullets it takes, just gun them down, <laughs> they will die. And they'll have a shitload of bullets on their body, too. So, anyway, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions about the game that you'd like us to answer in a potential future playthrough, leave them in the comments section below. Let us know. Yeah. Because we really like this game, and it's been a long time since I've played, so... Do you do you have any it's other? Nice to kind of stretch my legs. And do you have any other closing thoughts, Rachel? I know Nick and I did a lot of the talking. Oh, no, I know for you sure. have plenty to say about um, the game too. Whenever I was ex because, like I said, I've been really into this game for a while, and whenever I would excitedly talk about it with people who don't quite understand the whole game thing, uh, it was always a matter of just like, imagine Sims, and imagine you have control over these people. <laughs> And <laughs> put them in outlier <laughs> situations. Exactly. And you're Sims. trying to No imagine really Sims. Imagine someone trying to live in the world that you create. No swimming pools have ladders. There's yes. constant meteor strikes. <laughs> <laughs> but in the most sincere way of just like and you're trying to get through a war. And there's like yeah. that sounds really terrifying. It yeah, is. it is. And it's, it's soul crushing, but it's so satisfying. Oh. There have been times where we've been playing and then it's like eight hours later. It's like, oh yeah. The real world is still happening, and it's... And I disagree. I think this is absolutely a game that you play when you're not in that great of a place, because then you play it, and then it puts everything in perspective. Yeah, that's actually true. There's... there's because That one note that we read was far from the most depressing one. No. Actually, no, I think the school has one. Get to the... Get, use the oh, saw yeah. blades. Use the saw blades on that place with the desks. Because there's a note in one of the kids' desks that's absolutely heartbreaking. It's just oh my! Yeah, it's like it's like a man named Sniper shot my best friend. Why would he do that? It's like it's, it's just yeah. heartbreaking. Oh yeah. And so here, yes. check, it's that one. I know it's that yeah. one right there. <laughs> I know it really, is. Really, really it's it is. just depressing. Here we go. Uh, yeah, mom, it's terrible. A girl I knew was shot today by a man called Sniper. I can't believe I won't see her again. She was such a kind girl. What did she do to this Sniper? They turned off the electricity and the teacher said we would have to stay in school a little longer today. I don't know why. I want to see you and dad already. At least they promised to bring you this letter. Will you come and take me home? They didn't bring you that letter. No. Oh. They didn't bring no, them the letter. because you died when they bombed the school because yeah. this, it's... It's not so... great. Oh, broken shotgun! Yes! yes! We have so many weapons. I'm we can't... so happy. Yes. It doesn't matter. Broken shotgun. So, with that being said, this game is excellent. I've gotten, a l I've had a lot of fun playing this game. It's, it is really soul crushing, but it's really soul crushing at times. But it makes you really pay attention, and in a way that doesn't, you don't have to be so trigger happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like if click really quickly around everything, but you need to focus, and that's what I think. And well, it's that's why having someone be the documenter. Yes. Have, is, uh, oh yeah. I've got all sorts friend. of notes. Play the game with a friend. It, it it doesn't detract from the experience. Not at all. all. I think it actually enhances it because then you're both freaking out, and then you have to argue <laughs> with each other about. Are you what... gonna go use that other? No, I'm gonna put everything down here. Okay. It's okay. not even I mean, midnight. Yeah, it's, it's not even midnight. Not even Plus, midnight. We're, we're done playing anyway. Anyway, know, okay, so, yes. On that note, definitely check out the game. Let us know what you think of it. And if you want us to play more of this game, definitely let us know because we all had a blast with it. Um, yep. So, for sure. Yeah. Um, thank yeah. You, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next series. See you Ooh. in the archives. Take it easy, guys. Going down the ladder. Gonna should we, should we the tease the Curious Expedition thing that we're doing? I think I just did. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> something, something, developer, something, something, something curious expedition. Something, 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 something. Dark side. Oh, God. Why is there a homeless man in here? They took my food again. Oh, God. I don't want to steal your food, too.
But you Jesus. can. Jesus. Yeah, you can. Doesn't Just, mean you should. But you can. Doesn't mean you the should. The game's not 